All right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox and this week I'll be showing you a quick tip on how you can relink massive amounts of missing texture files inside of Octane for Cinema 4D. So if you're interested in that, let's get going. Uh, if you are familiar with Kitbash 3D, it's an amazing website where they sell mass model packs of crazy city elements and so on. Um, and if you buy one, like this San Francisco one, uh, download and pick you know your software you're running, I'm using Octane, so I download this. Um, you get a file pack that looks something like this. So I have my C4D file, and then in the text folder, and I have all my textures. I chose the 2K textures in this case. But when I open up this Cinema 4D file, you can see that none of these textures are linked. And so rather than double clicking through all of these individual files over and over and over and relinking them, which would take forever since this is so big, uh, we want to mass relink all these textures. Now, if you're familiar with Cinema 4D, a way to do this natively is if you go up to Window and then go down to Project Asset Inspector. And then if I were to select all of these and hit this little link icon, I can then navigate to that texture folder and hit OK. And now there's all of these check marks next to it. Unfortunately, Octane does not recognize Cinema 4D's native Project Asset Inspector. And so when we go back to our scene, you'll notice there's randomly a couple pieces that are kind of updated, but overall nothing is updated. You can see on the right hand side, none of these textures have stuff inside of them. So what we need to do is we need to use Octane's native texture manager. So if you go up to materials and go down to Octane texture manager, that's where we can relink all of these in a similar fashion. Octane kind of has a weird bug where there's all of these green check marks next to this, even though none of these are actually linked. And you'll notice in the path over here, the suggested path, it's kind of saying, look for the texture folder, look for a 4K folder, and then throw this in here. Um, for some reason, this isn't working at all. And so from here, we have all of our textures inside of this text folder, right? There's no other folder inside of this. So we want to point everything to that folder. So if I click one of these textures, you can see the file path over here. And in this instance, it's text, 4K, kibash, etc. Maybe if I had these 4K assets from them, this would have worked. But in this instance, it doesn't. And in a lot of other, you know, Turbo Squid files, things like that, in massive scenes, um, you want to replace this. So the way you do that, you highlight everything in the path up until the asset name. So in this case, the asset name is KB, 3D, NSF, etc. So I'm going to just highlight text and 4K. And so with that selected, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in file name where it says replace. I'm putting the, that file path and I'm going to replace it with nothing because that will tell Cinema 4D and Octane, okay, I wanna take this file path, whatever this is, however long it is, and I'm going to remove it and just look right outside the Cinema 4D file for the standard texture folder that we have uh, next to our Cinema 4D file. If you've saved these files on some other hard drive or it has a way longer path and it's not right outside of the Cinema 4D file, um, what you can do is you can paste whatever the path of your file would be in this width section. So you would then be saying, take my text backslash 4K path and replace it with whatever path you need to. And you can get that path by right clicking on, you know, an image going down here. You can get your path right here. So with that, again, I'm going to replace this with nothing since it's right outside the Cinema 4D folder and I'm going to hit replace. And that immediately relinked all of these files. So when I'm stepping through these, they are relinked. Some of them are taking a little time loading, but other than that, it's pretty good. And you can close your scene and you can see all of them are starting to populate. And there you go. This is taking a little bit, you know, there's tons of textures to relink, but it's going through for you and relinking all of them so you don't have to do this by hand. All right, so that is pretty much it. As you can see, our textures are relinked and we are ready to go. So hopefully this helps you guys out on your projects. I know this helped me out quite a bit. Shout out to my buddy MKFly3D. Um, he 
gave me this tip as he's given me plenty others in my Cinema 4D career. If you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a ton. Leave any comments in the comments section below. Always looking for tutorial ideas or things that y'all would like to learn. Um, and I'll see if I can figure it out. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D models, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. We have no textures, so you won't have to do any of this if you use them. We just have great models. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.